Filmora Pro Video Editor. Advanced editing, effects, and motion graphics made easy. This series of tutorials are going to show you the basics of editing in Filmora Pro from start to finish. Hi everyone, my name is Johnny, and in this tutorial we'll go over the basics of masking in Filmora Pro. We'll learn how to create different shaped masks and how to edit them. A mask on a layer is a shape that will isolate a section of a layer that will be visible from the other section which will not be visible. It can be used to create different effects, so let's see how to create them. To apply a mask, we'll select the clip we want to apply it to. The masking tools are in the viewer panel, next to the selection tool. In Filmora Pro, whenever we see this small arrow in the corner of an icon, we can click and hold on it, and more options will drop down. Here we have different shapes for masking. Then we'll select the Rectangle Mask tool on the viewer panel. Then we can draw a rectangle in the viewer. If we hold the Shift key while drawing, the mask will be a perfect square. And if we hold the Alt key, instead of scaling from the corner, the shape will scale from the center. This is useful to start drawing the mask from the center of the subject. The part of the layer which is inside the rectangle will be visible while the rest of the clip will become transparent. The mask will appear in the controls panel. If we deactivate it, the mask will stop affecting the clip. We can still edit the points on the shape of the mask while seeing the complete video. If we click on this icon, it will invert the affected section of the mask. If we select Ellipse Mask, when we click and draw, we'll be drawing an elliptical mask. With this shape, we can also use hotkeys, Shift or Alt. The freehand mask tool will let us draw a personalized shape mask, or edit the shape of the masks that are already drawn on the clip. To draw a new shape, we can click on the viewer to create points. Each new point will be connected with the previous one with a straight line. If we click and drag, we'll be creating a bezier which makes a curved line. We can finish creating our mask by clicking on the first point that we made. This will make the mask active and it will start affecting the clip. This tool will be in edit mode whenever the mask is selected. To edit a mask shape with this same tool, we can click any point to select it and then move it around. If it's a bezier point, we can click and drag from the circles to adjust the tangent of the curve. If we right click on the point and select unlock curve, we'll have a different tangent for each side of the point. And if we change it to linear, the point will not have a curve. To add new points, we can click on the line. We can draw a rectangle on the screen to select multiple points, or we can hold Shift to select the points we want to add to our selection. When more than one point is selected, the white rectangle will let us scale that selected section of the mask. We can also move them, right-click and invert the selection, or select all of the points. To delete a selected point, we can right-click it and click on Remove. But if we click on Reset, the point will move back to its original position. If we go to the Controls panel, we can adjust more settings of the mask. For the shape settings, the expansion will expand or contract the mask without changing the shape or position of the points. The feather strength will blur the edges of the mask. This feature will help us blend the masked clip with the background. It can blur from inside the mask, the outside, or both. And roundness will turn a linear shape into a curved one without affecting the points. The path option does not have any value to transform here, but it will add keyframes to animate the shape of the mask over time. And down here we can adjust and animate all the regular transformations. Opacity, anchor point, position, scale, and rotation. We can also transform these settings in the viewer with the selection tool. If we select the mask, we'll see a bounding box around the shape. We can drag it to change its position. 
from the white squares we can scale it. And if we hold Alt, we can rotate it. Finally, we can change the position of the anchor point of the mask by holding Shift, or right-click on it to center the anchor point. An information box on how to edit will appear if we hover our mouse over the corners or the anchor point. So those are the basics of masking in Filmora Pro. To learn more about editing in Filmora Pro, make sure to check out our other tutorials in the series. There's no limit to what you can make.